G'day mate and welcome back to Capra Ministry with me, Jedi. In our last episode, we lit a little blue light inside our nuclear reactor. As long as we keep the little blue light little, everything is fine. So far, we've kept the little, little blue light very little and very blue, and it's solved all our power problems, at least most of our power problems. Now, if our nuclear reactor should blow up, if we should have a meltdown, it should solve our population problems at the same time, and I will need to have a fall game. So uh, we need to start taking on some more YouTube members, so I have some options when it comes to a fall guy. Because, you know, it's important. It's important that you don't take out the captain of the island, you find somebody else you can supplement in. At the same time, we also started laying in some of the infrastructure, some of the logistics for moving the town into the crater. And today, I want to continue on that journey. I want to continue on that journey. We're doing some previous ups upgrades, some, some technology we unlocked a little while ago that I haven't implemented due to, well, population issues and also um, mainly population issues. Oh, well, and some power issues. So that's going to be one of the plans for today. Also, I want to jump into uh, Teraflops, Teraflops and data centers because we're doing all right. We, we've had our little uh, Electronics 3 machine running for quite some time, but I'm getting a little bit sick of clicking the trade button all the time. I'd like to click that button less often. So I want to start making our own microchips on island. But before I get into any of that, I need to ask the most important question of all, and that is, can I borrow a like? Can I borrow a like? Just want to borrow a like at the start of the video. If you're not happy with the video, you didn't enjoy my cable management for my servers in my data center, by all means, you can have your like back. With a recap out of the way, let's get into um, today's episode. As always, at the start of every episode, I like to thank those that go above me on, those that choose to support the channel, uh, those that take that extra step. And today, I need to thank another YouTube member, another new YouTube member. We need to thank Lemon, Lemon101, who is insistent that his excavator has been a lemon since the day he got it. Kept running out of fuel, kept breaking down, kept not digging straight, you know, always dig, dig slightly to the left, like, like, like a shopping trolley, like a shop, shopping trolley. You always pick up one that goes slightly to the left, and if you don't pick up one that goes slightly to the left, you get a broken, broken one that goes slightly to the right. Tell me about it. It's annoying as hell. He insists uh, that his excavator is a bit of a lemon. So um, we're going to upgrade him. We're going to upgrade him into a mega excavator. Uh, hopefully that fixes the lemon problem. I have a feeling it's a driver error, not actually an excavator issue, but um, we'll, we'll upgrade it and see see if that, you know, changes anything. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so thank you, Lemon, for being a YouTube member. Thank you for choosing to support the channel. It's very, very much appreciated. Whilst you're up here getting upgraded, uh, we will whoop, uh, we will put a uni boost on that building because um, I have an issue with trucks uh, and transport, generally. I have a total of 50 excavators of my, what is it? Uh, limit, limit, 160. Um, I have too many excavators, especially when we're going up to the mega class. I need to have more dump trucks, especially with the amount of material we're moving in and out of the crater. So, uh, Lemon is going to head back down to the copper mine, and we're actually going to find one of Lemon's friends and upgrade him. Except we're not going to upgrade him into a mega, mega excavator, we're going to upgrade him into a mega dump truck. Which does mean that I'm going to pull, well, the... what will end up being one excavator and three trucks? off this mine. In fact, I'm probably going to just do that at the same time. Yeah, then I'll just end up pulling the three trucks off this in the future. We're also going to come across to iron and I'm going to do the exact same. Uh, we're going to upgrade you to an excavator, uh, you to a truck, and you to a truck as well. Yeah, uh, same story. I just, I need more mega excavators to do more digging and therefore free up more trucks that we can upgrade into mega dump trucks. All right. That was the first thing I need to do. Uh, second thing is, we have a low supply of coal up here. And we have a low supply of coal up here, mainly because, um, well, the team has been clearing out a little bit of this mountain, and I've just set them up to start digging back down, well, the ramp, mainly get some coal. We're just out of coal. So uh, to mitigate that problem, we're using most of our coal to run power. We're going to take this reactor, and um, oh, I've already done it. I'm going to smack that up to tier two, and I'm going to pause that pipe. I already did it. There we go. Gonna do that, so we're gonna end up running this uh, generator, which should, providing everything works, you should output the right amount of steam. Uh, steam go there, steam go there, steam go there, steam go. Oh. I pause the output pipe. Yeah, pause the input pipe, please. Yeah. I want to. That pipe. That pipe. I, want, I need to pause that pipe. Cool. Um, the rate where this reactor is set up, uh, I don't have multiple balances in here to, to choose a balance of priority between, you know, 
level one, level two, level three. It's really designed to level one or level four. Yeah, it's designed to get upgraded to the next level. Now, I can't upgrade to the next level yet because we still need to have more retired waste. I still need to have a lot more retired waste and we're getting there slowly, but, um, well, obviously cranking this up to the next level was going to pro provide retired waste a little bit faster, which means I will eventually get enough that we can do the next tier of research. Also need to rebuild research, but that's a whole different story. Uh, so yes, we're now going to be uh, cranking out 60 megawatts worth of power from here, which means the old power plant, uh, this should only fire up to re-spin up these wheels. That's the only reason it should fire up, which means I'm going to actually add in an extra wheel on both these lanes because I can. That's really the only reason. Uh, like I'd really like to rearrange it, but I really don't want to move everything down by two tiles or a tile. Yeah, I, I just... I, that's one tile. Are you... The same length, yeah. No, I, I, I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered. All right, uh, hey, mega truck. All right, uh, can we keep clicking that button at least for a little while longer? All right, uh, next thing I'm going to talk about is mining destination. So, as the coal's been re rearranged, uh, the inner team being this tower right here, uh, who never got a name, they can now have a name. Uh, they have finished digging out this back corner. I'm actually going to send them towards limestone. Uh, we're going to dig here. Yep, and I'm going to dig... Let's go with these tiles across the front. Yeah, uh, I want to dig in towards limestone. Uh, currently, neither of these excavators can get out because of, well, pipes in the way. The trucks can still squeeze out, but um, the excavators can't. So when do these guys finally come to the time when they need to retire, um, they're going to have to be uh, recovered out. That's the only way they're going to get in and out. Uh, the... Rimming team is still rimming. They've got a little bit of rimming to do. Not not much. Not much more. Also, I should mention uh, this box has one dedicated dump truck now. And our dirt box down here also has one dedicated truck now. They are also tag uh, tagging off, I guess, uh, the main truck pool. But we have a bit of a problem with, um, well, extremely busy. Hence why I want to get some things upgraded. And then we can move on to uh, having less, less, less little trucks running around. In fact, you guys are pretty much done now, aren't you? Where is you? You were not marked to be upgraded, right? Correct. Uh, no, you are marked to be, to be upgraded. Okay, so that just leaves me with my three little trucks. Uh, you are unassigned. You are now unassigned. And you are unassigned and delete. Okay, that should help. Excavator has no compatible truck. That's alright, you're about to become a truck. Alright. Depleted uranium. I have too much depleted uranium. So I'm going to do the adult decision and I'm just going to put in an extra bucket. Uh, that should let us keep, keep uh, processing uranium into uranium rods. Speaking of uranium, uh, Mr. Shippy Shippy, uh, 600 there. You, you can go pick some up. You can go pick some up. It'll be fine. Um, yeah, we're just going to put in a bigger bucket and siphon off some more depleted uranium. We're going to have to do something with depleted uranium in the not too distant future. Uh, maybe we'll dump at the sea. Maybe we'll do something else with it. Um, we could dump at the sea by the same token. We're dumping an awful lot of rock in the sea and they're, they're sort of getting that done reasonably quickly. All right. Um, so that team, that team, that team. Uh, I think that's everything. All right. Population. I need to uh, obviously upgrade another house because I only have 10 workers available, uh, which means I need to solve that problem. Also, at the same time, we might notice the food, electricity, and water are not doing crash hot. And that is a couple of reasons. Um, first off, T2 housing. T2 housing gets a 50% unity boost after you provide them with electricity and water. A T3 housing gets a 100% unity boost if you provide them with household goods. I'd like to do that, but I can't do that just yet because they don't have household goods. We want to get that done, but by the same token, I'd like to move them into the crater before I jump through that hurdle. We might also notice that, um, well, water's not good doing great. Um, it's a little bit substandard. And I spent a little bit of time tracking through, like, you know, is it, is it an issue of getting water in? Like, we, we were producing an awful lot of water up here from scrubbing. We're obviously not scrubbing nearly as much because we're not processing nearly as much. But so I'm talking, I don't have scrubbing down here. We need to get scrubbing down here. And then realized just before the episode started, we have, um, 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 Total sediment need 201.3 water. That's a 200 pint. Yep. 
Yep. Don't question how long it took for me to work that out. Okay, we're just gonna move on. All right. Uh, also, I need to turn off uh, uranium enrichment because we've done that. Uh, we also need to turn off uh, well, well, nuclear reactors. My basic computing is... I don't know what basic computing is, actually. Basic computing is... Mainframe assembly and the concrete mixer. We'll talk about that in one second after I deal with this problem. Uh, this problem is the rimming team is out of things to rim. So, uh, can we go to your tower and grab your tower and reassign you to work uh, the mines over here. I want you to finish ripping out that. I'm also going to intentionally cut that onto those tiles. Yeah, because I don't really want the rimming team to come down and dig down here. I just want them to take off the rim. Yeah, take off the rim. All right. So the rimming team is going to come across and get that done. Uh, knowing the rimming team, it shouldn't take them that, that long. And then we can finally call the rim done. All right. Uh, next thing I want to do is basic computing. Basic computing, if we go back in the tech tree, unlocks a couple of things. One of the things that unlocks was the concrete mixer tier three. Now, I haven't got that. Well, I've been waiting to get that for quite some time because a long time ago, we unlocked... Uh, rotary kiln. So, our normal kiln outputs three cement. Uh, our normal concrete mixer uses three cement. Our rotary kiln outputs... No, wrong one. Gas rotary kiln. Gas rotary kiln, when we unlocked a while ago. Outputs six cement. Uh, which means if you ran at twice the speed, i.e. concrete mixer T3, well, then I could have a rotary kiln gas version instead. So that's what I want to do. I want to upgrade uh, each of these kilns to their gas version, which we need to do. I also probably need to take care of maintenance too. Uh... Done. Maintenance 2 is up to 750-ish. And um, you made 480. So that's solved. All right. Uh, so I need to get either fuel gas or hydrogen over to here. Now, I don't have fuel gas inside the crater yet, yet. If we move the town down here, then we'd have um, poop processing down here, which means I'd have a uh, fuel gas down here, but I don't have that currently. So we need to find hydrogen. Uh, the good news is over here, we have hydrogen for our silicon reactors so it should be a case of build pipe build pipe and grab pipe and take pipe uh hello through to here uh bring you over under and then over to this one and under there and then i want you to line up with iron being that one that one that one. Yeah. Uh, it technically means I can't access the steel box. Is that an issue? Nah, we've got steel up, up at the top of the map. It's fine. Uh, bring that through to here. Bring that through to here. Then I'm going to wrap this around the front to here. And bring this to right here for now. Okay. Uh, so, I want to upgrade these guys, which is as simple as a one-for-one -one replacement. So, we're going to remove you, remove you, remove you, remove you. Uh, we're going to remove you, and you, and you, and you, and you. And then I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to line this up there, and there, and there, and there. Alright, uh, we're going to set the hydrogen recipe, uh, copy, and paste. And then it should be a... Run the pipe to there. Nope. Run the pipe. Pipe one. To there. And then squiggle into there. And into there. And into there. And into there. Cool. And build. And actually probably build those as well. Alright, so that should give us uh, six cement per machine, which means I should be able to one, two, three, four and upgrade each one of those. It is going to take their power usage from 200 watts to like 600, uh, 400 watts. Yeah, uh, also means that we now need 10 people per, per one. So well, you're going to use a few more people, but that's fine. Also, it's going to double their output. And that's the real key thing I need to get to. I need to get to double their, their, their output. 
also means I now need to double their input, which means I need to get, um, well, manufacture sand, I need 48. We've got a 60 belt, that's fine. Uh, as for our gravel, we need 36, uh, which is this belt here, which means uh, you need 36 plus 36, which is 70 odd, which means that belt's gonna be upgraded. Uh, also means that belt's gonna be upgraded. Uh, yep. And therefore we have a 200 in. I also, are you guys running? Is the hydrogen just getting here? Okay, the hydrogen's just getting here. Uh, also means the water, I have 24, 48, 96. So I need to get another water thingy right here, which we're going to plumb together horribly. You can complain later. I will fix it in the future after we fix water in the, inside the crater completely because at the moment we're just running off groundwater and hoping it doesn't run out. So uh, that should provide 96 water in which should be enough to run these guys at full speed. Also, we're now outputting 48 each, which means, again, that belt needs to be upgraded. And also means that I need to provide uh, manufactured sand. I need to provide 12 times 4, 48, which means I need to have 48 gravel, which I don't have. Uh, so I also need to get you built. With you built, well, that should be the whole build running at full speed, uh, maxed out, very, very happy also means I can finally upgrade that bucket. Because every other bucket has been upgraded to a big bucket, except this one, because I was waiting for the, the little bit more optimized build. Uh, also means Mr. Coal Bucket can go away. Uh, I don't need you anymore. Uh, deletes these, deletes these. All right, with that done, uh, we can also finally come back to here and I can finally unpause these guys because well, they were paused due to population problems and the population problems are mostly solved. We're just going to keep adding more population. Uh, we have full construction parts one, mostly full con uh, twos, threes getting there, uh, and therefore four, well, well, we just spent a whole pile on nuclear reactor. And um, although we take half our threes and turn them into fours, once that is full, obviously we'll make nothing but fours, which should speed up the production. All right. Uh, low supply of concrete slabs, we just did that. High supply of slag, that's fine. I don't care. It's being shipped out. Uh, we might need to turn off that. Yeah, we'll leave it. We'll leave it for a moment. Um, okay, so that should solve that problem. That should start making concrete slabs a whole lot faster. Also, you guys are now making 48 a piece uh, because previously we were making 24 a piece, which means if I had four of these running, these four were running, and I never, ever, ever, ever had any extra concrete slabs. Ever. Okay. Uh, low supply of microchips means I need to press this button again. Which brings us on to uh, the next thing I want to work out. I want to start making our own microchips. Currently, we haven't been making our own microchips. We've just been importing them. And I should mention it is 160 gold, normally, without the price increase, for 40 microchips. Uh, 160 divided by 40 means each microchip has cost me four gold. That's a very, very important number because to make microchips, to make microchips ourselves, to make Electronics 3, uh, I don't need to look at that anymore. I need a microchip machine. Microchip machine. So microchip machine has uh, several processes it needs to go through to uh, make you a microchip. You have to take a silicon wafer. We'll get to a silicon wafer in a minute. Uh, mix it with some acid and some water to get a micro uh, microchip stage 1A. Okay, after we have a 1A, we need to add some copper and some plastic, which will give you a 1B. Uh, 1B plus two bits of gold will give you a 1C for two 1Cs, yep. Uh, a 1C with acid and water again gives you a 2A, yep. 2A with copper and plastic gives you 2B. Uh, 2B with gold gives you 2C. Uh, 2A with a acid water gives you 3A. 3A with copper and plastic gives you 3B. 3B with gold gives you a 3C. A 3C plus acid water gives you 4A. A 4A plus copper and plastic gives you a 4B. And a 4B plus gold uh, gives you microchips. The important number is microchips, uh, well, gold plus gold plus gold plus gold equals two, four, six, eight gold for eight microchips. Uh, this was 160 for 40, right? So I am paying uh, four. I'm paying four gold for four microchips. Yeah, paying four gold for four microchips. Uh, if we go through this, I'm paying, well, yeah. Yep, I'm paying eight. No, I'm paying one. I'm paying one gold for one microchip. So, you know, obviously not trading would be better. 
160 divided by 40. Okay, 160 divided by 40. Yep, uh, so 10 and what's that? 40 for 10. Yep, still 4. Uh, therefore, 4 for 1. Yep, I'm still paying 4. So I'm paying 4 gold for every microchip. If I start making them sell myself, I start paying out 1 gold for 1 microchip. Which is what I like to do. Now, uh, blueprints. I'm going to talk about blueprints because you can... Well, let's turn this off. You can. You can have multiple microchip builds, okay, in different varieties, okay? You're going to need a certain amount of teraflops to run this machine. It starts off with three teraflops. And uh, therefore, if you run... Okay, let's go deal with inner really quickly. Oh. Alright, seems like a flaw. Uh, you're about to cut off access. In a major way. Uh, can we go... Just widen it out one tile. You guys probably need to start working your way out, just so you know. Because you're about to get blocked in. All right, back to our microchip machine. All right, so we can run a single machine, a single machine, and we can loop the materials around, okay? So we can uh, run our silicon wafers in, which we need to get to back to, add our acid water, get a 1A. Take our 1A material, run that back in to give us a 1B. Take our 1B and run that back in to give us a 1C, blah, 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 blah. Uh, if we look at each process being one minute each, and there is three, six, 9, 12, 12, 12 processes. It means I get eight microchips every 12 minutes. That's okay. That's that's a start. Our second option is I can put three of these together. And we could do a 1A with a 1B with a 1C. I think these are flowing the oh no, those flowing the that way. So we can have uh our material come in and we can go A, B, C, and then take our C material, loop it back in, and then go for a uh, A and then the next level of A, and then the next level of A. Yep, yeah. uh, A's, 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 then we can do all the B's together. So that's a B, uh, what is B? B? B is plastic and copper. So you just scroll down, you look for the next plastic and copper, and then the next plastic and copper. And then you look for the next gold one, and that's a C, and that's a C, and that's a C, okay. So you can run three machines together, which means rather than it being, uh, well, 12 minutes, Okay, you're now talking, what, mm, one minute, four times, so four minutes. So you'd end up making uh, eight microchips every every four minutes, okay? So that's a, that's a significant increase in production. Your third option is, well, you have uh, an A, or B, or C from tier one, then an A, or B, or C from tier two, then an A, B, C from tier three, and then an A, B, C from tier four, and then you end up with uh, eight microchips every minute which is really the scale I, I want to get to, okay? I want to be able to pump out eight microchips every uh, minute because if I have eight mega uh, microchips every minute, it means, where are you? You, I could run two of you, two, three of you, three of you, not a problem. And we can just start having electronics three regularly, regularly. Uh, load, come home, because I probably need more uranium at home again. So we can start doing that. And that's really the point I want to get to. But um, you always need to start somewhere. And uh, I do have my blueprints. My blueprints are all shared. And I have, well, exactly what we just spoke about. I have a uh, baby's first first micro microchip machine, which has all those combinations in the reverse order. So, you know, it makes sure it doesn't back up. And you will just take out your microchips when they finally pop out of the machine and, and pop over there. Then I have um the three machine combo. And again, this is just designed to just bring in the material and then process on site and blah, 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 blah. And we're going to have, uh, well, all the A's, then all the B's, and then all the C's, and then finally a microchip pops out here. And then I have the third version, which we're going to get to in a minute, because um, to run any of these versions, I need to have teraflops. They have a certain amount of teraflops available. Now, one of the changes with update number one is we now have the mainframe computer. Now, the mainframe computer consumes two megawatts worth of power, which is an awful lot, okay? We've got nuclear reactors now, so it's not as bad, but um, two megawatts worth of power for eight teraflops of computing power. That's enough to get you sort of started. But again, um, going back to our general machines, general machines, microchip. 
Go back to that. Uh, that is three teraflops. And if I have three of them, uh, that is, uh, what, three, six, nine teraflops. Also, we haven't spoken about it, but there is the, it's under mineralogy, silicon crystallizer. This is going to take in poly and give me, um, wafers, and I'm going to use half those wafers, uh, to run these guys, and, you know, this is another four teraflops. So I need to have three, six, nine, plus that one, uh, being 13. Also, I need to have, uh, where do I leave that? Ah, there also didn't have one of those to, you know, convert my microchips into electronics, so I did, you know, three, six, uh, three, six, nine, uh, plus another four, plus another four, like 17 teraflops, 17 teraflops, and obviously the big system needs a whole lot more teraflops, so I did teraflops, uh, now, I could put down more of these at two megawatts each, eight teraflops at the start, the other thing we can do now is, uh, now we have some servers available, is I can put in a data center, now, if I have a data center, uh, we can flip you once more. Mm. Flip you once more, once more. Yes. If I have a data center, uh, I can start making, well, servers. And servers are going to give me teraflops. Mm, well, I have servers. I can put uh, servers in racks to give me teraflops. Yes. And I need to provide them with power, and it's going to be a substantial amount of power sooner or later. But we can start doing that. Now, to do that, I need to do one more thing, which is get some maintenance three up and running. I don't have maintenance three. So uh, let's jump through maintenance three first by upgrading our housing because I'm going to need more people. I've only got 18 available. Uh, upgrade, go for it. Cool. Whilst we're at it, where are you? You just can't get in and out. Uh, huh? Oh, that's a ramp in that direction. Oh, uh, guys, you might be screwed. Uh, can we go? Wait, I am confident I can dig that out, and I am confident uh, that li limestone is screwed. That's what I'm confident on. Yep. 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 That's what I'm confident on. All right, uh, let's play like a bit, bit, bit dark. All right, so, uh, maintenance, 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 maintenance. Uh, I need to put in a maintenance machine. Okay, can I copy you guys and paste you there and paste you there and paste you there? All right, uh, so maintenance one, maintenance two, and maintenance three. Uh, maintenance one requires electronics number one. Maintenance two requires electronics two. You can sort of guess what uh, what uh, maintenance three is going to require. Uh, buildings, maintenance step over number three. Yay! Uh, how do I have it that way? Yes, uh, that direction. Okay. So I, I want to line this up because I have designed my maintenance uh, maintenance alley. Let's go with maintenance alley. I like maintenance alley. I've designed maintenance alley to have. Uh, my mechanical parts because every single one of them needs mechanical parts so i've designed uh, it to have mechanical parts down the, down the middle and then uh electronics one flows over over the top of that uh electronics two flows right beside that and possibly if you need electronics three well you feed that in um somewhere somewhere in our case we're going to be fitting in from a box right here uh that one cool uh, which means I need to get it in here, which actually means two, well, that's not around the right way. That's around the right way. Cool. Uh, which means two things. Uh, one, I'm going to take my recyclables and I'll put them directly into that box because it'd be right there. Uh, build that, build that, and build that. Okay. Also get that. All right. Uh, I need to get this. F. And I need to bring this into this tile. Uh, and then I can bring that into that top. And then we start making maintenance three, uh, after we get the electronics delivered. So hopefully somebody comes and does this. Uh, trucks, are you allowed to access these buckets? You are. Okay. Uh, so hopefully somebody moves it from there to there. Uh, I also need to set a recipe. We're going to choose that recipe and you're going to notice we produce 180 compared to 480 compared to 480. So it's a lot less you produce from uh, maintenance three. Also a lot less recyclables. Don't forget, um, this is like super expensive, super expensive. Like electronics three require electronics two. 
along with microchips, which we're trying to get built right. Yep, 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 yep. They're expensive, but uh, that'll give us maintenance three. So we'll have maintenance three on the board, which means I can go back and start getting a data center up and running. So data center, we're going to build it because that's how you roll. Uh, and then I need to provide uh, more cooling, okay? Because uh, data center requires, well, not only is it built outdoors where you have the best air conditioning in the world, you just vent the heat and nobody cares. Yep, yep. Uh, also requires cold water coming in. So we need to have general machines, water. Water chiller. Yes, that's what I want. Uh, water chiller, which is going to... Uh, pipes, pipes, pipes. Okay, it's going to uh, take 30 water and provide 24 cold water. And we do this by taking water and cooling the water with the water. It's fine, don't question it. All right, uh, and then you're gonna output, well, you're gonna take in cold water and then you're gonna output my water that's not cool anymore back into the system. So I'm gonna have a loss of six water for every, well, every single water chiller, which I need to account for. So we're gonna put in a balancer uh, to obviously take our unchilled water back from the data center. And then I'm gonna run that into there and into, uh, there yeah also need to provide water back into the system and again i'm just gonna go with a groundwater pump we still have a lot of water on in the crater in the crater yeah uh eventually this is gonna cause me a problem it's not gonna be right now but eventually with this is gonna cause a problem and we'll worry about that problem then all right so uh you are gonna have a priority returner of the water we're gonna run that into the chiller where they're gonna you know put cold water in here it's gonna be fine it's gonna be grand it's gonna be wonderful now, uh, servers. I've been making servers for a while. Uh, as you guys know, water, water. Yeah, uh, I should put a tank. Ah, uh, we won't need a tank. All right, uh, cold water go in. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Cold water go in. Cold water go in. Okay, cold water go in. Uh, now, as, you, as I said, I, I've been making servers for a while. Uh, but what I need is a server rack. So a server rack is going to require a certain amount of servers to make a server rack. Uh, and I don't remember what the ratio is. Oh, it's 25. So I need to lose 25 servers to make one server rack. One server rack is going to give me two teraflops with the, uh, worth of computing power. Also going to need 40 kilowatts worth of power. So we're going to... I don't need to wait for you to fully cool, do I? No, because it's one chiller per data center. Yeah, uh, so we're just going to add a couple of servers. Um, I'm going to... Uh, actually, no. I'm going to remove those. Oh, well, they're on the other side anyway. Okay, we're going to add those back in. Come on. I'm on the far side. I'm on the far side. I'm on the side. Looking at the side where the racks get filled in last. Of course I am. Uh, yeah, it physically puts the servers in. I do like that this is a... A build that as you add to it, like, you know, the servers go in to physically represent each one of them, along with the cabling. The cooling's already in the back plate, so, you know, that doesn't change. But I, I just, it's one of those little features. Little features, I don't normally spend a lot of time, like, staring at the tiny details of some ga of, of games. But this one, I I, I I enjoy it. I have to wait a minute. I enjoy it. So uh, with our, I don't know, how much we drop in here? Like 1,500 servers? Yes, something like that. Uh, we now have um, uh, our server rack is full. Now, these are tileable. So I could add another data center behind that. And the pipes will just plug in. And then add another cooling tower. And we could, you know, plug that into there. And plug that into there. And we could chain this for, well, uh, as far as you want, really. You know, it did that they don't have a pipe throughput limit, you know, at all. But um, the chances of you going over, well, 200? Definitely over uh, definitely over 450. 450 uh, cool water in and, and, and warm water out is very, very slim. Uh, that's a lot of teraflops. But um, yes, we already have 104 teraflops available. Eight of them have come from the mainframe that we, um, I don't think we need anymore. Yep, I don't think we need that anymore. That can definitely go away. So with that going away, I now have 96 teraflops worth of computing power, which means I can put in a, well, a microchip build. Yes. Um, a sizable one, because don't forget each one of those machines needed three teraflops each, and if there's 12 in the circuit, if there's 12 in the loop, uh, I needed, yeah, 36, 36, 
3, 6, 9, 12. Yeah, it's 12. 12. Uh, I need 36 um, Teraflops worth of computing power. Uh, I have 96. So we, we should be fine. So, uh, blueprints. We want a microchip build level 3. Uh, which I want to put somewhere. Now, this is going to require uh, copper plastic. Also requires gold. Also requires silicon poly into that machine. Also water and acid. Uh, now, I do not want a standalone build. I don't want a standalone build like this. I want something I can plug into, well, everything else that I have here. And as we have copper and silicon poly here, I'm thinking if I just harvest off the bits that I don't want, uh, like that, and like that, and I don't need to make acid on site. I'm not going to be doing that. Uh, that is the bare minimum. That is the bare minimum build. And I'm thinking... I'm thinking I could put you right about here. Mm, that side, that side. Uh, let's go with this side. Yeah, okay. So I want to have a belt. Yeah, that actually worked perfectly. Okay. No, 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 no. no. Uh, we're going to want to put it that way. No, no, I'm, I'm going to have to put it this way. All right. Uh, so I need to bring in uh, water. I also need to bring in acid. I uh, also need to bring in silicon poly. So we're going to start with silicon poly, uh, which is this belt. And I definitely don't need a 200 speed belt. Uh, we're going to bring in a nice slow belt. And height. And gold is the bottom belt. Okay, we're going to bring in this and I'm going to whoop. No, don't. Okay, I'm going to bring that in there. Do I want to move that over two tiles? Yeah, we probably should. We probably should. You never know when two tiles might be important. Uh, okay, we're going to run this into here. Okay, go away. All right, I need to get water. No idea where water's going to come from. Uh, probably from another pump, honestly. Honestly, probably from another pump. Uh, let's just take that and plug that straight in there. All right, that's my pump for water. Uh, water needs to go in at the bottom. I also need acid. Acid I happen to have, um, well, at copper, which is here. So we're just going to grab our acid, and we're going to bring you... Uh, let's go behind that bucket. Uh, back a tile. Come with me, pipe. Uh, there to there to there to there. Okay, so that's my acid. Okay, I, I've got to work out what these are. You have no reachable terrain. You are stuck. Okay, you need a recovery, you need a recovery, and you need a recovery. Okay. Hopefully that means they shall... Yeah, they shall come and start digging down here, and that should solve that problem. All right. Uh, slag is fine. All right, we'll turn that off. We'll turn that off. You, you just have a faster loop. Okay. Uh, you are low on sand because people are lazy. Uh, quartz and sand has no way to dump things. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, where are we going to start putting dirt? I guess the dock. Because the other dock's already dirty, so we might as well have two dirty docks. Uh, dirty tower, there you go. Uh, which means I need to okay and on and on. So that way you guys can put rock and rock and dirt in your buckets and then the buckets can be emptied. Because obviously you can't start filling in your own holes anymore because, well, that's not going to happen. All right. Can I click that button again? All right. So it's acid uh, and water. Uh, okay, on top of that, we need to bring in gold. Gold is going to be trucked in. It needs to go into that box. Uh, can I just get a box for now? Uh, 
you are going to be gold and we'll plug gold in there all right uh, i also need to have plastic and copper so plastic and copper are right here uh, we have copper there and i have plastic there uh and we are are we at max height we're not at max height are we we're definitely at max height okay uh, we're going to bring plastic in. Uh, we're going to stay at height 2 for the length of that build. And then when we get to here, I guess, we'll come up to the max height. And then I want to plug that in there. It's going to mean there's going to be belts that need to be reversed. That's fine. We can reverse those belts. And that should feed plastic in. Okay. Also need to go get uh, copper which is going to come out to the length of this build or something like that uh to there and then up to height two that one cool uh so that just leaves gold which like i said is going to be here and we're just going to run you up and over for the moment okay uh, that didn't connect but sure done all right, we're going to put an import on that, and we're going to say build it. Uh, I probably need an output box. Uh, I don't want to alert for that. And can I get an output box for right now? From there to there. Just keeping things simple. Keeping things simple for right now. All right, so... Just to confirm, we have water in. We have acid. Would help if I built the pipe. And that pipe. You don't really need to be a two tier, tier two pipe because this uses a uh, two, four, six, two, two, four, six, eight. Eight acid. Yeah, it's a big acid user. Uh, you are going to start making our silicon wafers. Silicon wafers, we're going to mix with our water and our acid to get our 1A. 1A mixed with copper and plastic is going to get us 1B. 1B with a touch of gold is going to get us our 1C. Gold needs to be shipped in, which I'm assuming they can reach. Yes. Truck cannot reach what destination? No. 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 And no. Okay? That, that's the new plan. No. No, no. Also, no, no. No, no, uh, no, no, and it can't copy and paste these because every single one of them has a different recipe. Uh, pop, pop, okay. Uh, which is now delete and delete. Okay, uh, slag, stone, low supply of microchips. I know you have a low supply of microchips. You also have a low supply of microchips. Uh, I don't want you to keep full. Yeah, you, you can output microchips. Uh, notify me if full. Because that sounds like a first world problem I can deal with. Alright, uh, so we have our very first. Our very first uh, microchips to start sliding through. Which means we're going to get into the next stage. And then the next stage. And then this is going to take a while to pop, uh, populate and run. Uh, I also need to flip those belts. And then that belt. And then you're going to have copper coming through to all those different belts. And then things shall run. We have gold here and ready to go, which means I don't need to do gold trade anymore. Uh, once this is up and running, we should be making eight microchips per minute, which means I now need to upgrade my robotic assemblers. Also need to have somewhere a little bit more permanent to do electronics number three. Uh, but between that maintenance and our data centers up and running, um, well, we're using 36 teraflops, 30, 30 so far. Uh, but as we have more and more machines kick in, we're going to start consuming more and more teraflops. And that's going to keep going up until this whole system's up and running. And then it'll go up even higher as I add more assemblers. But that'll all be in future episodes. In today's episode, we just got microchips running. We've got microchips running. We've got our own microchip supply now. Which means that, yes, uh, we can tick off that one. That is done. Oh, my God. What a recipe. Uh, also, that is done. Yeah. Uh, so we have a whole lot less on our tech tree to do. We've also spent an awful lot of uni, which means I need a little bit of time to recover that. Uh, also need to probably yell at a whole lot of digging and dumping teams. Although, God, the rooming team is almost done. All right, I'm going to call it here for this episode. Uh, as always, if you're interested in my blueprints, they are available on my Discord server. 
like the microchips, the, the stage one to get you up and started, stage two when you have a little bit more teraflops available, probably with the changes to the mainframe being added to the game, you could probably jump straight to stage two, or you could do what I did and just wait for a little while, save up 1500 servers, and then just fill out a data set and be done with it. Anyway, that's where I'm going to leave this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you in the very next video. All right, bye.